sends to Albany and to Capitol Hill. One of the races you will vote for is the congressional race between Nassau DA Kathleen Rice and her challenger, Bruce Blakeman, who heated up the race Saturday during a press conference in Manhattan. News 12 Long Island's Christina Renault explains. He supports the radical elements of Islam. GOP congressional candidate Bruce Blakeman is talking about Imam Siraj Wahaj, who appeared on a list of unindicted co conspirators in the trial of the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center. Blakeman says his Democratic challenger in the 4th District, Nassau DA Kathleen Rice, was set to speak alongside the Imam at an Islamic Center of Long Island event next month. He says Rice didn't cancel until it was made public. And we were told. My campaign was told that two weeks ago the invitations went out and certainly she would have received an invitation to an event that she was supposed to be one of the keynote speakers. As of Saturday night, Rice's name still appeared on the center's website announcing the November fundraiser. Congressman Peter King, who endorsed Blakeman, spoke during Saturday's press conference calling the move inexcusable. If she agreed to speak at the Islamic Center of Long Island, she should have known about that mosque. That's the mosque which after 9-11 had several of its most prominent officials say that the World Trade Center attack was not carried out by Al-Qaeda, but it was by the FBI, by the CIA, by the Jews. A spokesman for Rice's campaign tells News 12 Peter King himself has often accepted invitations to speak at the center. He goes on to say, as soon as we heard that this imam had been added to an expanded panel of guests, we immediately pulled out of the event, condemned the imam, and criticized the Islamic Center's decision to give him a platform. Blakeman also pointed out that his nephew was killed on September 11th. Rice's campaign spokesman says the Republican is simply trying to, quote, score political points on 9-11, and his actions are shameful. In the newsroom, Christina Renault, News 12.